Hi there, students. To shrivel. As an adjective, shriveled. To shrivel is to shrink, to wrinkle and contract because something has lost water. So a plant could shrivel in the hot sun. It becomes smaller and consumed. Okay, this here is a chili, a very hot one too. And if you look, it's shriveled, it's completely dried up and it's contracted and wrinkled because it's lost the water. Okay, so my grandmother has a shriveled face because of uh, her great age and working in the hot sun all her life. Uh, an Egyptian mummy is shriveled. So it's lost all the water, it's dried out and it's shrunken. Now that's the literal meaning, but we can use shrivel metaphorically as well, meaning to lose force, to become less, to lose vitality. So interest in my classes shriveled, became less. The enthusiasm of the participants shriveled, reduced. My bank account is shriveling because uh, I've not been working. Okay, so to dwindle, to become less, to lose uh, volume or strength or, vit <coughs> or vitality. We can also use shrivel to mean to become helpless or useless or inefficient. So he shriveled with fear and he couldn't do anything. He was useless. I shriveled at the thought of going to another job interview. Okay, I became helpless and useless. She shriveled me with a piercing look. She made me feel uh, insignificant and useless with one look. So to shrivel, to contract, to wrinkle and become smaller because of loss of water. So a shriveled face, a plant could shrivel in the hot sun. And then metaphorically to lose strength, to lose force. Uh, my certainty about his innocence shriveled as they produced more and more evidence of his guilt. And then to become helpless, to become unable to do anything, I shrivel at the thought of it. So notice this verb shrivel is a regular verb. Shrivel, shriveled, shriveled and shriveling. What's interesting with it though is you can spell it either with a double L or a single L. So shriveling with a single L or shriveling with a double L. Okay, what about the origin? Well, apparently this comes from Swedish. There's a word in Swedish, skrivla, which means wrinkled and clearly shriveled if something is shriveled, it's definitely wrinkled. Um, and what about formality? I think this is neutral formality. You could use it in an informal conversation. You could use it in a formal document. Um, it's quite a nice word. It's probably not the first word people would choose. They might use shrunk or shrunken or dried out or something like that. But shriveled, completely consumed and dried out, normally because of loss of water. 
So, as I said, neutral formality, flexible in all situations. So, to shrivel, to contract and to wrinkle because of loss of water. The plant shriveled in the sun. To lose vigor, vitality, to decrease. My bank account shriveled. My enthusiasm shriveled. And then to become helpless, useless, unable to act. He shriveled with fear. He shriveled at the thought of going to work. And there you go. So, if you enjoyed the video,